What's poppin' people? It's Dante, currently catching the sunrise here in Philadelphia, just allowing the light to peer into my eyes. You know, there's something special about light, sunlight, and the warmth it provides in my body, in my soul. And as a photographer, you know, I find that light ultimately is my subject, right? Light is what I'm drawn to. I'm ultimately drawn to the way that light etches shapes and gives form to surfaces, people, faces, and things. And there's something endless about the possibilities of making photographs that light provides, where you quite frankly cannot make the same photograph twice, right? You cannot make the same photograph twice. When using light as your subject and the way that it changes over time, every moment, every detail, it's a nuance, it's a change, it's something to uplift in a photograph. And there's something about flux and movement and change that light provides in my life and my perception of photography, where I go out there with my camera expecting nothing from the world, but merely following the light and my intuition. And when I position myself out there in the world and I photograph and I perceive light, I'm actually just genuinely curious about what reality will manifest to be in the photographs that I make now, where when I lift the camera up at any object it could be the most minute detail of trees or the leaves that are on the ground here. You know, there's something about the nuances that become so beautiful because of light. And whether the light is harsh, whether the light is during the sunrise like it is right now or during the sunset, whether there is any light, right? Think about the darkness of nighttime and the reflected light from the moon or artificial light. Maybe you use soft light during the cloudy days. You know, there's something about the differences of the day, the differences of time and of the day, um, the seasons that change, the way that light hits certain streets, the way that light is casted, long shadows are casted. Sometimes when the light is harsh and it's above you at noon, the shadows are casted upon the faces of people and things become a bit more abstracted. There's something about light right it, uh, it is ultimately my subject as a photographer especially when you consider the word photography fos meaning light or fos like phos how do you pronounce this fos light graphia writing um, i find that photography in a photograph itself is an instant sketch of light an instant sketch of life and yeah the sunrise is important in my life personally because when I allow this Sun to peer into my eyes in the morning I'm setting my circadian rhythm my natural biological clock I go to bed at a certain time every single day I rise at a certain time every single day and quite frankly I'm just not a slave to time anymore because I, I genuinely just spend the maximum amount of time under the Sun in the outdoors especially during sunrise and sunset where I get the sunlight and so because of this my health is increasing I'm having more energy in the day my vitality is through the roof and it all derives from this natural light that we have that we're certainly uh, you know here because of right the uh, the thing is um, when I ground myself in nature when I align myself with the sunlight I recognize the mere insignificance of myself in this grand uh, sort of uh, universe where I'm currently standing on a floating rock falling into a void in space orbiting around a big ball of fire and well that is what's keeping me alive right now and my heart is beating um, you know recognizing that all of the worries all of the anxiety all of the small trivial things about this next election coming up whatever it is right like these things genuinely are not of my concern but um, you know, the insignificant uh, sort of details or stories or, um, you know, things that are undergoing in our current society, like whatever is going on in modernity, right? Like all of this stuff is just such a distraction. And um, yeah, maybe uh, ultimately by aligning with the light, you align with nature and aligning with nature provides flourishing um, and yeah, I think, um, you know, without light, obviously sun light is the reason we have photosynthesis of plants growing, of the, the vegetation around me, these beautiful trees grow tall. And yeah, I think we're very similar to these uh, plants as much as we are animals, right? We need simple things like sunlight and water, right, as humans. And so, yeah, I think um, sunlight is uh, 
there's certainly a reason why lots of ancient cultures looked at the sun as God or a God. And um, yeah, I'd suggest uh, <laughs> basking in the sun. Yeah, there's something about it. Man, it's, uh, it's really, um, it's really uplifting. Like the feeling physiologically when it hits your skin and it goes through your eyes and it warms your body on these cold days. There's really a difference, right? If I were to, if like I'm currently in the shade, um, but like if I put my full body in the sun, like it really does just charge your body. It really does warm your body. And so, yeah, maybe our bodies are like batteries and the sun is the ultimate charger. And when you go to sleep at night, you are also charging your battery. And by aligning with the ultimate charger, the sun, we can essentially charge our battery, our body, our physical self to its fullest capacity at 100%, similar to an iPhone. And so, yeah, just uh, increase your sun exposure. Simple message today. I absolutely love the sun. Without the sun, I wouldn't be here right now. Without the sun, I don't know how I could make photographs. Um, and so because of that, I'm very grateful for the sun. Yeah, I think uh, these simple things like sunlight, water, yeah, they do go a long way, right? It's like the natural things are most important in my life. Not whatever's going on in the world right now. <laughs> Hey, my shadow. It's cool. I've been doing also like portraits where if I actually hold the camera at different angles, maybe from the side, different angles, you can play with the way that the light casts on your face. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> just like experimenting with uh, self-portraits using the sunlight and just playing with the different angles. It's pretty interesting sometimes. I wonder if I actually put these leaves here in the foreground, if that would have an effect. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Ooh, it does. Whoa. Huh, yeah, it did do something. Let me try that again, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's hard to line things up because I can't actually see what I'm photographing, but whoa, it's just cool. Like, I just like trying new things. <laughs> it almost looks like I have a face tattoo. <laughs> Look at this. I got a freaking face tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, the light, uh, the sunlight, uh, yeah, it's the ultimate uh, joy in my life. <laughs> Any time in the sun is time worth spent.